everybody, what's up? Today I have another palette review for you. It is a limited edition palette. It's been causing quite a bit of drama in the YouTube world. Today I'm just here to let you know my thoughts on it and it is the Lorac Mega Pro palette. The reason why this has been like kind of a big deal on YouTube is because it had a limited quantity, I guess, Lorac. Uh, they like only had a certain amount of palettes and it, it, it sold out rather quickly and a lot of people were upset because they wanted to buy it for Christmas and things like that. So I know it, it's frustrating. I actually purchased mine online and I didn't have any issues with ordering it. I actually ordered it the day it became live on their website. I ordered this directly from, from Lorac and it was $60. I have to say though that mine took like almost a month to get to me. I ordered it like the day it came out. So as far as purchasing this goes, I don't think you can get it from Lorac anymore directly, but Amazon is selling it now. They just restocked a couple of days ago, so I'm not sure if it's still going to be uh, in stock by the time I upload this video, but just so you know, you can get it from Amazon. But I do really like the quality of Lorac shadows, and I do enjoy this palette a lot. I've been wearing it so much. I've been taking it with me when I go places. They are the same quality as other Lorac shadows. I don't have the Pro 2, but this is the Lorac Pro palette, which I love, and it's just, it's the same amazing quality. They're very pigmented, very rich colors. Um, you know, I love Lorac shadows. Okay, so for the packaging, as you can see, it's a rather large palette. This is the original Pro palette. It's pretty much the size of, like, a little bit more than two palettes put together. I don't have the Pro 2. I'm so sorry. I can't compare it to that one, but I do have the original, and I love this. I got this for Christmas last year, and I've been using it. I've been hit and pan on it right Right there well actually just one shadow I hit pan on but you get the idea I like this and um, the palette is like the same like rubberized cardboard feeling stuff I don't know what it is exactly it feels like cardboard but it has like this rubbery finish on it that really likes to hold fingerprints so I actually wipe this with like alcohol with baby wipes and it just stays like so the powder it's gonna be a little dusty looking I apologize I don't like my palettes to look dirty but with Lorac sometimes it's like inevitable so let's get down to the nitty-gritty of this palette first two rows these 16 eyeshadows all matte completely matte no shimmer whatsoever then the next two rows are completely shimmer so the next 16 shadows are shimmer shadows so let me break it down for you there are 28 brand new shadows there are 32 shadows total four of them are repeats and they are cream white espresso and black these are all repeated shades but they're kind of like classics you kind of need them so no big deal there i do really like the selection but as a whole it's mostly warm tone shadows and i just wanted to throw that out there for people who have cool skin tones like i do i have a lot of pink in my skin sometimes i like to gravitate more towards things that will flatter me more so um, i would say if you're afraid of warm tone shadows this might not be the palette for you. All right, so let's get into the swatches. I have already swatched the entire first row for you. Now, these are all matte shadows, and they do not have any shimmer. And cream is the first shadow we have, which is really close to my skin tone, so I'm sorry if you can't see it, but there it is. I'll try to put on a little bit more. Maybe I'll try to layer it again. So here we go. There's cream, and then there is like a second layer, but it's really close to my skin tone, so you can't see it. Then we have fawn. Then we have camel. Then we have Sepia, and I'm wearing this one today, as well as this next one called Dusty Plum. I love this one. And then we have Orchid, Mulberry, and then Espresso. So these are all mattes once again, and I'm wearing these four mixed together on my eyes today. So that is the first row of shadows for you. And once again, Cream and Espresso are the repromotes. So the first one and the last one, rock on. First one and the last one, those are... Uh, the re-promoted colors. Okay, so here we have the second row of matte shadows, which are a little bit more cool tone. I would say that anyway, these ones are very cool tone. Um, I really do like the second row as well because I have cool tone pale skin, so these ones really work for me. This one is warm, but the rest are pretty much cool toned. So first up, we have white, which is a re-promote, like I said. Then we have khaki, we have brown, stone. This one's called lilac. Then we have wisteria, gray and then plain old black which is super black as night i love it it's very nice to use as an eyeliner and this one is also a re-promote so once again the first and last are re-promotes in this row 
All right, now we're starting to get into the shimmer shadows. This is the third row for you, starting with this beautiful number, Opal. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's like almost yellow green reflection in some lights. It's crazy. I love it. Then we have Sand, which is very similar to Opal, and then Copper, which is just like the name says, Copper. Then we have Sienna, Apricot, blush merlot and indigo now this one indigo has actual glitter particles in it and they look like purple in the sun kind of like it's a black base with purple glitter basically so i don't know if you guys can really see it i think you kind of need to put a base on this one to make the glitter show up Just more so you guys get an idea of how glittery it is there it is right there in the pan it's hard to tell in the swatch though that this has actual glitter in it and i just wanted to let you all know about that but the rest of these are very shimmery they don't have actual glitter now for so the last row of shimmery shadows this is probably my other favorite row in this palette the first row and the last row i love these colors i just think they're so beautiful okay so starting off we have vanilla then we have cashmere and then smoky topaz. I'm also wearing smoky topaz today on my inner corner and my lid area. Then we have dusty rose, granite, maroon, deep teal, and then caviar. So those are all of the shimmery shadows in the last row. And you can see like in the shade, they kind of look like satin finish. But then once they hit the sun, it's like shimmer city. So they really are shimmery in the sunlight. But I like the fact that they look kind of different, you know, finish wise in the shade. So, so. once again, there is the last row in this palette. They're all very shimmery, very beautiful colors. I really enjoy this row. I feel like this row is perfect for holiday looks. I just feel like these colors scream out holiday to me so I really like them especially for the upcoming months you know. so back to the part of whether it's worth it or not I think for the value you're getting it is worth it if you are a Lorac shadow fan like I am if you love the pro if you love the pro 2 or just Lorac in general this is kind of a steal I mean I know it's $60 but one of these is usually at least 40 so you're kind of getting almost a little bit like buy one get one half when it comes to the palette so personally I really enjoy it because I have great quality with every shadow they're all really pigmented no primer is necessary I'm not wearing primer right now and I've had this shadow on since early in the morning I mean this stuff lasts all day long and it's super richly pigmented so that's really all I want in an eyeshadow and Lorac knows how to do them right so I really like this I think it's worth it I think it's a fantastic palette um, I don't think the colors are exactly my taste. I mean, I love neutrals, but they are all very, very warm. I wish they would have included a little bit more something something for us cool tone skin girls or boys, you know. So that's all I have to say about the Lorac Mega Pro palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and as always, thank you so much for watching.